People who have been on game shows and won. What did you really win and how did it help your life? I won $125,000 on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire about 20 years ago. After taxes. I still had about $80,000. I paid my car off. Got a computer. Was able to quit a full time job I hated and take a more enjoyable part time job. And went to college. Now I work at a job I love that I wouldn't have if I never got a college education. R.I.P. Regis. I won a few thousand on Jeopardy a few years ago. It allowed my wife and I to finally go on a honeymoon two years after getting married. Maybe not life changing on a grand scale. But definitely made our lives a bit better. I was on a kids game show in the late 80s with my brother. We won. But lost the grand prize. Trip to Disneyland. In the bonus round. And were given a $500 gift certificate to a toy store instead. $250 each for a toy store was absolutely incredible for a couple of kids. Especially in the 80s. I still remember that shopping trip. I won the showcase on The Price is Right. It was the spring break episode so it was only college students. It was my senior year of college. Winning a new car and a bunch of other stuff made the last semester of college awesome. It's s been 9.5 years and I still drive the car. So I guess it's changed my life in that I've never had car payments. When I was 10 I correctly guessed the weight of a pumpkin and won a packet of giant cabbage seeds. I never got round to planting them. Life has been downhill ever since that peak. My high school drama and speech teacher was the friend someone called for a phone a friend option on who wants to be a millionaire. Back when Regis was still the host. The guy who called him shared a portion of the money with my teacher. Like 20-30k and and my teacher used the money to adopt a baby. I won the top prize. $500. On a quiz show called Inquisition. This was around 1999. The check arrived right before my car registration was due. Which was helpful because I had just lost my job. Fun fact. You get $300 if you get called down to contests row on the Price is Right and don't make it to the stage. My mom and I went to the Price is Right and my mom got called down. Got on stage. And won her game. She did not win her wheel spin unfortunately. But she won $10,000 cash from her game so that was pretty good. Can't complain about winning a bunch of cash. I think about 30-40% went to taxes. I was on Let's Make a Deal in 2016 and I won a new car. It was actually perfect timing because my old car was on its last legs and I had started saving for a new one. Then I won a new one and the money I had saved paid the fees and stuff. I won the car in August but didn't actually get it until November when the episode aired. But they drove it to my apartment and had me sign the deed and it was all pretty painless. I had heard rumors throughout life about winning on gamma shells costing you and things like that. I guess because I already had some money saved for fees and taxes it ended up really painless. Got a brand new car work 16k for about 3k in fees and stuff. Totally worth it and would totally recommend it. Here's a tip. If you ever go to one of those game shows that pick contestants out of the audience. They have a producer briefly interview everyone. Usually in groups. Beforehand. And as long as you're lively without being theatrical, and seem interesting without being crazy, you have a good shot at being picked. And the producer was interviewing the 20 member slot of audience members I was grouped with. He asked everyone their name and what they did and one interesting fact about themselves. And one random guy who desperately wanted to be on TV started doing the worm there in the interview area. You could immediately see on the producer's face that though he was forcing laughter, that's definitely not what they're looking to put on TV. Loose cannons are a big no-go. My girlfriend and I were on shop till you drop and one big. I still use the dishes every day. The trip. Trips. It was a long time ago. I won was decent. I paid the taxes on my winnings with a check before leaving the lot. It took months and months for all the deliveries to come in. Which was weird. I sold off some of it. Used a lot of it. And can't find the episode anywhere. How did it help my life? The producer became a friend of ours and helped me propose to my gamma shower partner girlfriend and we're still happily married 15 years later. My grandmother was queen for a day. It's an older game show. She won a new living room set. Pretty nice for the times. 
not a game show. I rang the bell on the Sledgehammer game at a country fair. The girl I was on a date with was impressed. Still married after 35 plus years. A friend of mine won one of the last episodes Ed of the Weakest Link. It was an episode where they were supposed to be lookalikes of the host IA she won 100k. She was wanting to be able to stay home with her kids and this allowed her to do that. She homeschools her 6 kids now and is just such a happy, sweet lady. Years ago called into a radio show and won 2 tickets to a cruise through the Bahamas. Only seconds later to be told it was strictly for couples 25 and up. Was extremely disappointed, was like 19 or something, and never understood why. This will get buried but I won Wheel of Fortune 2 years ago. I won $67,000. After taxes it ended up being about $52,000. I paid off all my debt, went to Disney, bought some new furniture for the house and paid cash for a car. Still have about 20k sitting in savings. It was absolutely phenomenal. It had always been my dream and I still can't believe it happened. Not really a game show but for those who remember Bozo Circus. I got to play the grand prize game, every Midwestern child's dream. How did it help my life? For every bucket you hit, out of 6, you get a bunch of toys gifts. I think I got to bucket number 4 or 5, they are much smaller in person. And we drove home with a car full of toys, games, and bozo hot dogs. As a child, it was pretty epic. Edit, thank you for the silver. It makes up for missing bucket number 5 and 6. Won $700 getting a question right on a radio call in show. My parents gave me $100 of it and kept the rest. At the time I was annoyed. As an adult looking back it was because we were flat broke. $100 was an insane amount of money to a 12 year old in the 90s. And the rest went to crazy things like us being able to eat. So overall not too bad. Oh and when I was 20 I got to stand in a glass tube as a bunch of store vouchers for my local mall zoomed around me and anything I caught I kept. Shoved them all in my shirt and walked away with a few hundred worth. My brother was on pyramid in 77 or 78. He got a lifetime of Weiser Ronnie. It was a case of like 48 boxes every year for like 3 years. We got a letter that the show was going off air and out of the Rice Ronnie business. Cut us right off. P.S. My wife said it was a show called $25,000 Dollar Pyramid. I won $15,000 on Millionaire with Meredith. Not Regis. I kept $11,200. I had to wait 4 months for the episode to air and another month after that to get paid. Went to England and did a few smaller travel things with it. And then used it to rack up as little debt as possible in grad school. One on a radio game show. Two tickets to a festival I couldn't attend and headphones worth a grand total of OA7. 50. Life hasn't been the same since. Was the closest guess in a sweets in the jar game at our local community center. I won a hamper of wine, cheeses and crackers. I was 9. I won so many times on a Sunday morning oldies trivia contest that they finally made a rule that you could only win every 30 days. The strangest thing I won was a pair of cowboy boots, and I didn't wanna be a cowboy. I won second prize in a beauty contest once. Won you a cute 10. I won the double bubble bubble gum bubble blowing contest at my local grocery store when I was 11 and I won a plaque. The bubble measure thing. And a big fat sack of double bubble bubble gum. Mine was technically a game show. I remember vividly as I was reading through the disclosure agreements. It was listed as such. I was on a show on CNBC make me a millionaire inventor. We were episode 1 season 1. The premiere. We had developed a mouth guard that measures the severity and frequency of sport impacts. We ended up winning $100,000 investment from the investors and everything worked out. We received the capital and deployed it effectively. We are now a growing company that helps keep athletes safe around the world. For us it was rather monumental. One first place in a singing contest sponsored by a local radio station. Scored me $500 cash and bought a new guitar. I had the chance to go to the state fair and compete on a larger stage with a chance to win studio time and some more dollar sign. But declined as my talent ends at little old ladies in nursing homes and church and toddlers. They're my core audience. 
An old friend of mine was a contestant on Where in the World is Carmen Sandigo on PBS 1A back in grade school. He won a trip to somewhere with palm trees. I can't remember. For his family. Hardly life changing. Still kinda cool. I won $1,200. Split with a friend. So $600 each. On the Canadian version of Cash Cab. Luckily it was in Canada. Which has no prize tax. So we were mailed a check for $1,200 even. I remember being so dumbfounded when they turned off the cameras and then took away the big wad of cash they had just handed to us. We'll mail you a check. We were young and dumb. So we blew the money on a 10 day long birthday road trip to Nick and Montreal. It was a great time. Not me. But my parents were on the newlywed game in the early 80s and won. I guess beforehand. There was a list of items they were given and they were supposed to pick three of the prize items and put them in order of their first choice down to their third. They had just moved into their first house and really needed a washer and dryer. So they put that first and assumed that's what they would end up with if they won. And for the third choice they put a new pop-up tent trailer with camping supplies. Something my mom definitely did not want lol. Well. They ended up with the pop-up tent trailer and camping supplies. On the video you can see my mom visibly upset they didn't get a washer and dryer ha <laughs> ha poor mom. Anyway, they didn't receive their prize until their episode aired and they had to go pick it up themselves down in Los Angeles or pay a hefty price to have the prize delivered. They chose to pick it up themselves. They then incurred costs to upgrade my mom's car to an SUV with a tow hitch for the trailer. All in all. It ended up being a great prize because they kept it for 12 years. Which included the first 8 years of my life. We took a lot of great family camping trips in that little trailer with some amazing memories made. My mom didn't totally hate it. But she eventually made my dad sell it and upgrade to a bigger trailer with its own bathroom and shower ha ha. When I was about 10. There was a gamma show on Spanish TV where you would call in to play the game. My mom and I got through one night and won a grocery store certificate for $100. We were so excited as this was big money in the 80s. We get to the store, buy bus, and do our shopping. We get to the register and let the checkout person know we won the prize and she tells us the manager isn't there and that we would need to come back another day for verification. My mom explains that we arrived by bus and how it is difficult to make the trip again. I remember feeling so sad. Thankfully. Another employee at the supermarket stepped in and let us take the groceries home. I still remember the feeling of relief when he allowed us to do that. Won a competition on a radio show. No prize money but was on the radio. Their streaming page and met a Spice Girl. Had my 5 minutes of fame. So I pretty much peaked after that. Still a fun conversation starter. One of my parents won you a cute 500,000 on a game show in 2012. Before this parent went on the show we had been served an eviction notice from the rented house we were in. Needless to say they bought a lovely house and it was the first time I ever had a nice bedroom to decorate. Being on the property ladder changed their lives drastically and now they've moved to the upside down place. From the UK. And they're living their best life. Edit. For people getting asking about the pronouns it was a protection of identity is all. The show was called Red or Black. It was cancelled not long after. Yes I meant Australia. No it wasn't bought. They had to prove their societal worth. I had just gotten fired unemployed 1990 or so and I was chilling at home. I called in on a radio show quiz style game and I won two tickets to the symphony in town for their Christmas show. Drama ensues. So I'm pumped because I have no cash and this is going to be the Christmas present for my girlfriend soon to be wife. Big secret. Waiting to the tickets in the mail as the date arrives. Nothing. I call the radio station they say the tickets are in the mail. I quiz my roommate. Nothing. A week or so later I have to carry the trash to the curb and grab the first jacket I come to. It's my roommate's. Ducking stubs for the symphony orchestra in the pocket. I couldn't believe it. He had intercepted the mail. He was a jealous sort but it's not like I was a shining star with two nickels in my pocket no job. I know he did it to make me look bad. I'll be honest it was a real kick in the gut. Betrayed for perhaps the only time in my life maliciously by a so called friend. Not a game show but I won a new truck through the GM Monster Hot Button contest. Was there to fix their email and while waiting for them to finish lunch I won a truck. 
Had a car so didn't need a truck. Sold it for $18,000. Paid dollar sign 4k in taxes. Paid off $10k in debt and blew 4k on fun stuff. Was really nice. Giving my girlfriend $1,000 to do whatever she wanted was really cool. Felt like a baller. Not a game show. But I won a mooing contest at a fair. Prize was a Walkman in the 90s. M -O 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 -O. My grandma won a mirror on The Price is Right. It helped her put on makeup and see how she looked in clothes. A friend won a thousand dollars on a quiz show. It wasn't life changing money but it definitely helped. Took something like 9 weeks after the show was filmed for her to get the cash. I won 500 bucks on a TV show where you bet you can do something special. And then do it. I used it to go to a magic convention abroad. I was on Survivor Palau. Other than being hungry all the time. The special service you get back at the Ponderosa camp is amazing. Margaritas. Unlimited food. Whatever you want basically. I won the second episode ever of Limited. I didn't win anything except a second date with a Hawaiian tropic model. Edit. Was episode 8. I won a trip to Tahiti from a radio station. The trip was awesome. Not a game show. But when I worked at a hardware store we got a phone call for help in tools. I was free and grabbed a call. Introduced myself. Asked how I could be of help and the customer said they were looking for a drill that has a function to help drill through concrete so I answered a hammer drill. And all these alarms and it started going off. The dude on the other end of the call said he was from some radio show about tools. And since I had gotten the answer correctly, he'd send me a pizza. Got a pizza. Was dope. From a radio contest so not technically a game show. But I won tickets to a Springsteen concert which included a bus ride to Detroit to see it. The best part was the Bob Seger showed up and played with the band too. A friend of mine. Her dad won literally everything on the Price is Right but ended up only choosing three prizes to keep because of the taxes. A car. A motorcycle and a vacation if I recall. He also had to sign something saying he wouldn't appear on their show or a number of other shows for 10 years. Not sure if he was banned because he was so good or if that's standard. Not game shows, but back in the early days of music videos, there was a show on a local PBS channel that showed videos on Friday night. They were weird and groovy. Each week they showed postcards that people sent in, and if they showed your postcard, you'd get some free albums. So I sent in a pretty oddball postcard I draw up, and they showed it. I was called soon thereafter and given a time to come to the studio. I drove up there, about 30 minutes, comma and it was a real dump, not surprising. They said I could pick out 3 albums from a pile on a table. The pile was second rate bands and losers you'd never heard of. I grabbed one of someone I knew, and the other two I don't even remember what they were. Another time. The radio offered free circus tickets for people who called in, and I was lucky and scored 5 tickets. I gave 3 away and took my little brother to the circus, but still have to pay for parking and crazy triple priced sodas. My grandma won a yellow 69 Camaro SS on Let's Make a Deal. They had to sell it so they could buy our station wagon. My dad would tell me and my little brother that story and how broken hearted grandpa was every time we saw a yellow Camaro. My mom got on, and won, Wheel of Fortune. I'll try to be vague to protect her identity, for the show. She officially won an all expense paid trip to a country I won't list. At the time, brand new Infinity, 2010 range, and like $25,000 cash. She said she was required to pay tax on the car, which was several thousand dollars up front that she just had to pay as her game show winnings took a while to arrive so she couldn't use that. She took out a short term loan using the car as collateral to pay that tax. She sold the car, paid off the loan, and kept the difference. Something they don't tell you is how heavily taxed income from game shows is. I remember her only keeping a few grand out of her 25k. She did, however, get to keep most of the money from selling the car and the trip to a foreign country was legit. Including the spending cash they give you when you're out there. Overall. She used the money to pay off some debts and lived basically the same after the show, minus some debt and with the added life experience in another country. For any Wheel of Fortune fans, 
She said Pat is short in person, that everyone stands on pedestals to make them appear identical in height, and that Vanna White is extremely nice. My friend won $9k on Jeopardy. She and her husband put it toward adding a library wing onto their house for their 20k plus books. When I was in first grade I correctly answered a question about dinosaurs on our local news station. I won a lifetime supply of meat from the local butcher. Every month my family got a styrofoam ice chest filled with steaks and sausages. This went on for a good 4 or 5 years until the butcher went out of business. Edit. I forgot to mention that we also got a barbecue pit. Also we got a bag of charcoal with each ice chest of meat. Edit 2. Getting messages that the contest prize is what put the butcher out of business. That's not how it works. It's not like the butcher gave it away for free. It was paid for by the sponsors of the contest. I won the grand prize on this game show called Beat the Geeks that was on Comedy Central. This was back in like 2003 or so. The grand prize was a trip to the Cannes Film Festival as part of Troma Films. Turns out my contact person at Troma who was supposed to pick me up and take me to the group had quit a week prior and did not leave a follow up plan for me. So my first night ever in a foreign country I was all alone and there were pretty much no rooms available. I was always kind of a pushover and never really stood up for myself. But I instantly became a don't take no for an answer kid. And after walking around town for a while I found a fancy ass hotel and talked my way into getting one of the rooms. I went out. I got food. I got wine. I smoked French cigarettes. And I laughed with the greatest sense of pride and confidence I've ever had in my life. I later met up with the team. Took a day trip to Monaco. Met friends I still talk to from all around the world. And almost got arrested while dressed up as the Toxic Avenger doing some guerrilla parading on the main street with these crazy dudes from Baltimore. The other prizes, like the DVDs and the TV, were great but this one, this one made me feel alive. I won about 25,000 after taxes. Paid for college. Who wants to be a millionaire? And yes, that's my final answer. I knew a guy that won the showcase showdown on the prices right. He won two jet skis and some other stuff I don't remember. He was crazy about that show and knew all the prices. You'd never have suspected it either. Since he was a cool guy college football player, the local paper did a write up on his big win. I don't know that it helped his life other than fulfilling a dream of his and giving him a couple of badass jet skis to use on the lake during our hot ass summers. I was on Wheel of Fortune in 2017 and won the bonus round. I ended up with $46,200 and a trip to Cuba. After taxes I made close to $30,000 and the trip was amazing. I was on for teachers week and I'm still treated as the local celebrity around school. Vanna was a doll and Pat is what you would expect. I was on and won a Canadian kids game show called Oh Oh with quirky host and active redditor Wink Yahoo in the 6th grade. In about half an hour's time I had brown paint water dumped on me twice before nailing a couple speed rounds and taking home the crown. The prize came as advertised. A sweet Sony 3 CD stereo system which served as my alarm clock as well a tool for me to play drums along with my favorite albums for many years. It didn't help my life necessarily. But what I did learn is that showbiz ain't that glamorous as after taping I saw Wink Yahoo noticeably distraught sucking back multiple darts at once. I worked with a guy who won MTV's remote control. He got a Chevy probe and some cash. Downside is that when his taxes hit he owed so much money that he had to quit school which is where I met him working at a comic book store. Remember the government considers what you win very taxable. I won a 4 day ski trip to Steamboat, hotel stay, and concert tickets to Papa Roach from a local radio station. They called me in the morning and I was still sleeping. When they said I won, I responded with holy it that's awesome. Some friends later said they beeped it out and the hosts had a good laugh. I won a consultation prize on the Price is Right and it was supposed to be a gift card to some spa and a weird brand mp3 player. 2010. The spa was in LA and I didn't live there so I don't know if that's why this happened. But they instead sent me 4 mp3 players. It actually did help my life because I sold them mp3 players online and bought all my Christmas gifts with the money. Price is Right showcase winner back in 1997. 
$35K in random stuff. Kept the high-end personalized sized golf clubs. Sold the travel trailer, car, and the stove. Selling the items more than made up for the taxes. I'd say I walked away with $25K and a set of clubs. It was a nice little boost to my house down payment. Avoided PMI. I was on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire in 2017. Taped 2016. My personal goal was to get to $50k and was fairly confident I could do it. Unfortunately, the audience was wrong at the $20k question and I dropped to $5k. I was really upset and waiting 9 plus months before I could talk about it was incredibly tough. After taxes. I ended up with about $3,700 and used that to have a really fun time on a girl's trip to Europe and also buy myself a fancy purse.